Now, Mount Kenya University has been ranked fourth nationally as the ideal university for international studies. A research done by at least 560 international students who are taking their studies at the institution. The research indicates that Kenyan universities are not aggressive enough in attracting international students who are key in helping institutions of higher learning generate revenue, as Sharon Baranga now reports. Institutions of higher learning in the country have been hit hard with the lockdowns as a result of the global pandemic. A number of students are not in a position to pay their school fees, which has affected the institution's accounts. Our universities and other departments of government are lazy. They must wake up, stop being lazy, and think. If there's a deficit, a deficit in this country, is a deficit of thinking. We need thinkers in this country. I have challenged the universities to raise enough money not to depend on exchequers. So we are only extending to them one possibility. It is small. It may not account too much in the books, but it will go a long way in, in creating that independence that universities ought to have. So this foreign student is just a tiny thing, but nevertheless important enough to create resources sufficient for universities to be, to be self self-managing uh, in terms of resources. Because if you can manage yourself, then you can take less dictatorship from, the, from, foreign, from other people. If the University of Kabia of Eldoret was independent financially, they can even tell of the minister when he's coming to play around with them. But you are going to beg. Since when did a beggar become independent? Some of the institutions of higher learning that have high numbers of foreign students are the University of Nairobi, United States International University, Strathmore University, Mount Kenya University, and Kenyatta University. The University of Nairobi should have four, five, six, ten times this number. You know, with a population, student population of about 60,000 students, the university should have, at the very least, 10% of that figure. That will give us how many? 6,000 foreign students. You can imagine 6,000 fee-paying students charged properly. Because even if you do Bachelor of Arts, which is the lowest letter course, for example, a foreign student pays more. Uganda tops the list of countries that sends in students to study in Kenyan universities, followed by South Sudan, Tanzania, Somalia and Nigeria. Most of the boarding primary schools in Kajado, George, really cater for Tanzanian students. And these are the low hanging fruits. If this government had even, this country went out deliberately, consciously, in a structured manner to capture the Tanzanian market in terms of basic education only, the government will raise a lot of revenue. So what really attracts foreign students to study in the country? In Tanzania, we, we, we value so much Kenyan education. So uh, my parents said, uh, why not give it a try? So I said I came here and then um, with time I just got to like the place and the country and then I said, uh, why not continue? From the research, other factors foreign students put into consideration before they enroll at a university are reputation and global ranking of the institution, type and duration of course to study, national security, cost of living, ease of immigration rules, among others. The research on state of international students in Kenyan universities was done by CPS Research International between January and March 2021. Sharon Baranga, TV 47.